Hello. Hello, Karen. Yes. Hi, this is Dave from County from from the the, the zoning department. Yeah. And I just needed to let you know we're going to be um, seizing half of your front yard, and we're going to be putting an information booth out there for tourists. I don't understand this at all. It, it's just going to be your front yard, and and, and this is actually good news because we're going to take care of mowing it. We're going to mow your front yard from for you from now on. But there's going to be an. Infra- I'm in a private community. How are you getting in here? Oh, we we have a key. We we have the code. But no, what I'm saying is, it's just going to be like a, it's just going to be like an information booth for tourists. So so there's like no, there's no, pam- you're not. There's pamphlets. There's a there's a a bulletin no, board with no. You know, I don't know. This must be a joke. A joke. So I'm just going with the fact that this is a joke. N- no, it's no not. one is coming in my front yard. No, no. They, well, it's not going to be your. Thank front. you very much, it, and goodbye. It won't be your front yard anymore, ma'am. <laughs> You're listening to the Snowplow Show. Today is November 19th, 2019. This is episode 595, and it's brought to you by FOD87, Gobi the Least Creative. That's the guy's name. I'm not calling Gobi the Least Creative. Don't get mad at me, Gobi. And then also uh, Jamie F. and Todd L. Those are the sponsors of today's show. Thanks, everyone, for supporting the show. And also thanks to the new people who signed up, like Brian Q., Soviet, and Jason M. If any of you would like to sign up and get a free extra show every single week, you can do that on patreon.com slash losers or losers.com slash support. I did a hobo sode last week where I tried to get some residents to apologize to the mayor, and none of them were really very willing to apologize to the mayor. I don't know why. Let's see if I can find a good one in here. I don't know why you're phoning me, and if you're saying the mayor would know, or I would know from the mayor why I'm supposed to apologize, no, I'm not going to apologize, because I've said nothing about the mayor or done anything related to the mayor, so I'm not apologizing. Who, who's Steve with? Who are you with, Steve? I'm with the mayor's office. I feel like you just put your partner on to just basically tattle on me like you're telling your mom or whatever. Can, can you, can I'm you just, just putting I'm putting my partner on because I want him to be involved in this conversation because I've not done anything wrong and I'm not going to apologize. Are you Are you embarrassed to admit what you did wrong because your partner's in the room? Maybe, maybe you should go somewhere else with more privacy. So that was kind of fun. I did a good 15 or 20 minutes of asking people to apologize to the mayor and the mayor said they would know why. I actually had one guy apologize to me. He's just like, okay, and and he did it. So be sure to check that out. That was on Wednesday that that one happened. Hobo Sode number 211. I got a message here from Raiden Digital. He says, thanks, RBCP, for linking to that Michelle call. I think that was last week that I played the Michelle call that I made to Michelle from Twitter. Uh, He says he'd been wondering where to find it. I actually just yesterday heard that Madhouse show where they called her back after Dwight had got to her. Carlito mentioned sexual organs, and she actually hung up for the first time ever. She sounded sober on that call, which is why she hung up, I suspect. The shows with Michelle are the Madhouse shows on 4-29-2013, and then on Dwight's channel, it's 5-5 of 2013. What do you mean Dwight's channel? Does he have a thing? Or I guess maybe he's on prankcallnation.com with his feed or whatever. I don't know. I just watch him on Patreon. But I am pulling up the Carlito show from April 29th, 2013. It is a four hour show, probably because Michelle was on it. Like, um, they just have passed a bunch of laws. Like, you have to wear your uh, condom and pornos. Yeah. And I was laughing. That's just a random part that I went to in the show. And she's talking about condoms and pornos already. Because the porno people obviously tried to go to Ventura. And Ventura was freaking out. Like, because you need film permits and stuff. Okay. I used to go get film permits and work on films, but I wasn't new to it. Carly does not even talking. He's just letting Michelle just go at it. I was mostly like right I don't know where I am in the call on this part. But probably Carlito is just sick of her at this point and wants to get rid of her. Our stuff. Huh? And I was oh. like 25, too. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> you're awesome. <laughs> 
for, uh, don't fuck with me though. I don't, no, I don't need you to show me porno fucking like penis vagina. I don't, that's not, you, you didn't really need to do that. All right, but you'll be my little chicken at least, right? I don't know, no. I rented like, I rent, I actually just shared my apartment with this guy. His name is Mark. Uh huh. And he's really nice. So what? And before that, I should, um. So what? Who okay, cares? So Reg, Reggie just left. Reggie just left. Reggie's my friend on Facebook. Okay, yeah, I can't just sit here and look. I, I kind of want to. I want to listen to the entire first Michelle call. But nope. Instead, I'm going to link to this in the show notes. And I see that the show after this, the one a week later, also has Michelle in it. In the description on Carlito's site, it says we catch up with drunk ass Michelle again. And that one's on 5 5, which is the same date as Dwight's show. So I don't know if this is the same thing or if those are separate shows, but I'll link to both of these and you guys can figure out where to find Dwight's show from, which is apparently on 5 5 2013. But if you want to find these, go to madhouselive.com and look in the show archives for April 29th, 2013. Thank you, Raiden Digital, for this. I might actually listen to some Michelle after I get tonight's show posted. One more thing before we get started. My most favorite person in the entire world, Rappy McRapperson, was interviewed on the podcast of my second most favorite person in the world, MC Lars. He does a podcast called the MC Lars Podcast, which you can find on mclars.com. And last week he had Rappy McRapperson on there. I suggest everyone go listen to it. He talks about some of his history and everything. And you know how much of a boner I have for Rappy McRapperson. I will have a link to that in the show notes. It's the November 11th, 2019 episode of the MC Lars podcast, which is a great podcast, by the way. I love the guests he has on there. And I'm not just saying that because I was on it a long time ago. Hello? Hi, Don? Yeah? Hey there. uh, This is Stephen. I'm in the mayor's office. I'm just calling to give you a quick message from the mayor. He wanted me to call okay. and give you a message. Um, he says that he loves you. <laughs> and that's it. That's all the message says here. Just uh, It's for for you, for Don, says, I love you. But that's from the yeah. mayor, not from me. Sounds good. All right. Have a good day. Thank you for the call. Uh-huh, sure. Goodbye. Okay. Bye. Bye. I could hear him typing away on his phone there, trying to figure out who the hell I was. Tom speaking. Hey, Tom, this is Stephen from the mayor's office here in Saskatoon. Hi. Hi. Uh, the mayor wanted me to give you a, a message here. Uh, he says that he loves you. Who is this? Uh, my name is Kevin. I'm, I'm in the mayor's office. But the, the message is from the mayor. Okay. Uh, he just says that he loves you. That's all the message says here. Okay. Thanks for that. Uh-huh. Goodbye. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. I don't think this is going to work out that great, you guys. It seemed much more believable when I was telling him that the mayor didn't like him or that the mayor owed them an apology or wanted an apology, whatever I was saying last time. I think I love you just isn't working. Good afternoon, Derek here. Hey, Derek. This is Stephen from the mayor's office. Hi. How are you, Stephen? Pretty good. Um, the mayor wanted me to give you a message here. Okay. Uh, the message is that I love you. That's from the mayor, not from me. He says he loves you. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> uh, my name is Stephen. I'm in the mayor's office. From the mayor's office. Okay. Correct. <laughs> well, thank you, Stephen. Sure. No problem. Have a good day. All right. Goodbye. Bye now. All right. All three calls so far have gone exactly the same. I'm basically just wasting these numbers. Sorry about that, Mac DB. Wasting all your numbers here. Kind of an asshole for that. But there's only a few left, so I may as well just see if I get any different reactions from this. Hello, Kyle speaking. Hey, Kyle. This is Steven from the mayor's office. How you doing? Pretty good. Uh, the mayor wanted me to give you a quick message here. Okay. Uh, the message is that he loves you. <laughs> and that's it. Oh, yeah. There's nothing else on here. It just says, uh, I love you from the mayor. Yeah. That's so, all it says, eh? 
Correct. Yes. <laughs> okay. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's all. Have a nice day. All right. You too. Goodbye. Thank you. All right. Bye. At least this is brightening up people's days. You know, it's not making them all anxious and stuff about the apology thing or about the mayor not liking them. So this is a good thing I'm doing. Ken here. Hey, Ken. This is Stephen from the mayor's office. Hi there. Hey, uh, the mayor wanted me to pass along a message to you. Okay. Uh, he says that he loves you. <laughs> and okay. that's the end of the message. Okay. All right. So you don't have anything you want to say back to him? To the mayor. Correct. I can write the it down here real quick. and. Uh, okay. Tell him that I appreciate that and thank you. Okay. And that spending $150 million on a new library is an absolute waste of taxpayers' money and he needs to be fiscally more responsible than that. Are you saying you don't love him back? I don't know him that well to love him back. Okay, well, it just seems like a dick move not to say I love you back to him. Okay, well, why would you use that tone to me? I just, I mean, the mayor just said he loves you and you're going to just complain about his fucking library? <laughs> like, why don't you say I love you back what? to him? Because I don't know the man. Well, I mean, you could just love him as your fellow man or whatever. Okay. So, so I should say, can, can you just say you love him back and I'll write that down? I don't know him, and I really don't know who you are and why you're phoning me. Okay, well, I'm just going to, I'm going to write on this post-it here that uh, Ken says your library is stupid and he does not love you. That's not what I said. Well, you kind of said it in a roundabout sort of way. That's, that, that's not what I said. I said, thank you, I appreciate it, and I just said spending $150 million on a library might not be the most fiscally responsible thing to do with taxpayers' money. So I'm going to write, thank you, but your library is stupid and I don't love you. That's not what I said. It's basically what you said. You said, thank you, but. And, and what's your name? My name is Steven. I work here in the mayor's office. Okay. Just, just seems like okay, you could Steven. say you love him back, really. I mean, he said he loves you. Like, what I don't know the man, and, and if he wanted to phone me and say he loves me, then great. But he's not phoning me and telling me that. You're phoning me and telling me I know, that. because he's a busy man. He's the mayor. He has things to do. And I'm not busy, and I don't have things to do. I, I don't know. I, I'm just I'm giving you a quick phone call here, and, and you won't even say you love okay. him back. I don't know the man well enough to say whether I love him or not. Okay, well, I mean, like you said thank you and everything, but then you said but. Okay. That, that's like when someone is like, well, uh, you, I'm not a racist, but. Now so you're the, taking the conversation somewhere it's not. Well, I'm just saying yeah, that it's, it sounds okay, listen, like listen, when listen, you say but after thank you, you it's like you're me. not saying thank you. Okay, I didn't phone you. You phoned me. So if you're going to get argumentative. I'm just going to hang up and move on with life. Well, okay, that's fine. I just can't believe that you don't love the mayor back. It's that big of a deal that I don't love Mayor Charlie Clark? He said he loved you. That's fine. He he can say that. All but right. I don't know the man okay. that right. I love. Well. Him, so I'm not going to say that. Okay. And let's all be right. clear. I, all right. I'm going to write down on the post-it what thank you said. You. Exactly what you said. Okay. Well, then if you're going to write it down, make sure you write it down. Correct. Uh, I oh, said, I am. I said, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I was done at that. I'm writing then you asked me if I had anything else I had to say. Right? That's how our conversation I'm writing, went. dear Charlie, I hate you. From Ken. Well, if that's what you want to write, that's not what I said at all. You may as well be saying that. Okay, well, I'm going to reach out to Charlie and tell him I don't appreciate you phoning me. And I don't appreciate what you're doing. And if you're on the taxpayer's dollar doing this, I don't appreciate it either. Well, it's, not, it's none of your business. Are you going to be like, uh, you know, I, I pay for your paycheck. 
now because if you're phoning I just don't and like what I'm saying. Time. I'm not wasting your time. I'm giving you a message from the mayor that he loves you. Okay. okay. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, damn it. That's what I should have done with all of them. Insist that they say I love you back. But that was the very last person on the list. I have nobody else to call on MacDB's list, so I think I'm just going to retire the I love you from the mayor idea. By the way, that idea was sort of from Don Marola on YouTube, who commented that you should call up people and say you love them. I love the reactions you get from the sudden declarations of love. And that's not exactly Don Marola's idea, but whatever. Close enough, right? Thanks for the idea, Don Marola. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should just call up some people right now, let them know that I love them. Let's see what other numbers I have in here in the request folder. Here's a request from Yamamoto, which is a picture of a work order ticket that shows that a girl named Christina ran some power through a structure for lights for some exhibit thing. And on the top of the work ticket is a business name. I'm going to say I'm from that business and I'm going to declare my love because who wouldn't love a girl that knows how to run electrical wire? Hello, this is Christina. Hey, Christina. Uh, this is Gary from... F- Hi. Hi. I'm, I'm just calling up to let you know that I love you. Uh, I don't know who this is. Uh, I'm Gary. I just, I just work in the uh, customer service department. And you called to tell me that you love me. Correct, yes. Okay. Uh, weird. Well, no, it's not that weird. I'm just calling to let you know that I love you. That's all. All right, well, have a great day. What, you're not going to say I love you back? No. Why not? Because I don't know who this is. Well, I'm just, I'm, I'm Gary. I'm just, uh, I'm declaring my love for you. <sighs> Gary from 818-0169. Correct, yes. 69. Who is this really? My name is Gary. I work in customer service here at... Okay. I'm not trying to be weird or anything. I'm just uh, calling to just let you know that I love you. (laughs) It's just weird. It's not that weird. People tell each other they love them all the time. Yeah, but I don't know you, so this is weird. So, all right. Well, have a great day, Gary. Okay. You're not going to say you love me back? No. Please? Bye. Nobody else loves me. All right. She's sufficiently creeped out now. She's going to be asking around who the hell's Gary, and he probably won't exist. Here's one from Kaylee. Kaylee wants me to call a guy named Thomas. He goes to the dollar store about once a week and gets a bag of Twizzlers. Tell him you always see him buying Twizzlers in the store and call him a fat ass. What? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to call up Thomas and tell him I love him. Tell him you're tired of not being able to buy Twizzlers for your children because he always takes them all before anyone else can buy them. Which, you know, like, how would I have his number for that? Hello. Hello, Thomas? Yeah. Hey, this is uh, Eric from the... I'm the manager here at the dollar store. Uh, okay. And we noticed you come in here, uh, you know, every once in a while and get a bag of Twizzlers. Yeah. And I just wanted to let you know that I love you. (laughs) Oh, yeah? Yeah. I hope that's okay. I hope that's not weird. Yeah, that's weird shit. How'd you get my number? Oh, we have records, you know, like uh, the cash register, point of sale stuff, computers. Well, actually, you know what? 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 (laughs) Actually, what? Then, all right, then. What, what were you going to say? You, you, <laughs> the hell was that? Oh, I just noticed the part of <laughs> the, the prank that says, this is okay, this is my dad. So I guess I pranked Kaylee's dad. Let me know, Kaylee, if he says anything crazy about the whole thing. Call in and leave a voicemail or send an email or whatever. Here's one from Argon the Element. He found a flyer, I guess, for a trash or junk removal company. It says, got trash or junk? which I'm not sure I know the difference between trash and junk. And I want to tell whoever answers that I love them, but there's no name on this thing. So I think that's going to be a problem that I don't have a name. But let's find out. Buses, how can I help you? Hey there, uh, this is Roy. I'm the the mayor of St. Louis. 
the mayor of St. Louis. Yes, I'm calling to let you know that I love you. Roy? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, that's that's all well, I... Love, love is a beautiful thing. It sure is, and I love you. Do you love everybody, Roy? No, just you specifically. Now, why me? Uh, I don't know. I think you're just, uh, I think we're, we're like a, an item. We could click and everything, you know? Now, who, who am I, Roy? You don't know who you are? No, I'm, I'm wondering if you know who I am. Well, who are you? I'm the guy that you love. I know. Well, what's my name? I thought you love everybody. No, no, I just love you. I mean, there, there's a couple other people I love, but it's just specifically you that I love. Well, Roy, love is, is a beautiful thing, and Here you said I that. think you kind of make it, you're making fun of it. No, no, you're I'm not making, defeated. what? I'm not making fun of love. Well, you're making fun of me. You don't even know me. I'm not what making, is my name? I'm not making fun of you. Like, why won't you tell me your name? Well, you got my phone number from somewhere. And uh, right now I'm very busy. I'm talking to my granddaughter, and we're getting ready to go out and do you love her? The job. Do you so, love your Do you love your granddaughter? I don't. I don't, I, I don't have time, Roy. Okay. Well, have a nice day I mean, can't can't you have just a, have a nice day? Can't you say you love me back? Have a nice day, Roy. Can, can, do you love me back? Uh, turned kind of weird, but I think that was an important message in that call. That love is a beautiful thing, and I shouldn't be making fun of love, which I'm not. Here's a list of, I guess these might be, um, I don't know, parents that have donated foods and stuff like cookies to school functions or uh, their potlucks is what Kristen says. And some of them have happened already, like earlier in the year, and some of them are going to happen. And it gives me their name, their phone number and what they brought to the potluck, which is basically all cookies Hello. Hello, Joyce. Hi, yeah, who's this? Hey there. Uh, th this is Gary. I'm from the school. Oh, yeah. How are you? Pretty good. You you um, you um brought us some cookies last year, back in January, or I mean earlier this year. I don't know that I did. Oh, no. <laughs> you, you, brought, you bought in the chocolate toffee bark. I'm not sure that I did. I don't think so. Oh. oh, you know what? I signed up to, but I don't think I actually did. I'm sorry. Yeah, that. that's what I'm saying. But anyway, despite that, I just wanted to let you know that I love you. Okay. And yeah, that's all. I'm just calling to let you know that I love you. Okay. All right. Thanks. Uh huh. Yep. Do you, do you um do you love me back? No, I don't. No. Why not? <laughs> I don't know who you are. Oh, this is Gary. I'm from the school. Okay, what do you do at the school? I'm the janitor. I see. Okay. Oh, yeah. thank you for calling. Oh, yeah, no problem. Uh, I love you. Okay, bye. Do, do you love me back? Maybe this is a bad idea. I'm going to get a janitor yelled at. Hello? Hello, is Edward Brown? You have the wrong number. No, don't lie. Come on, just put him on. Again, I'm going to tell you have the wrong number. You called three times. I know, but like put Edward on. Quit, quit hiding him. You're not his damn secretary. Just put him on the phone. I'm going to hang up on you now. Why? Because I told you you have the wrong number. What don't you understand? Well, you're also telling me this, this isn't Edward's number. Yeah, don't be retarded and take that for what it is. Whoa, hey, don't, don't use the R word. Oh my gosh, I totally don't love her. That was the only male on the list, and it wasn't even a good number. Maybe I should switch over to the Carol voice, so it's less weird for him. Hello? Hello, Gail? Yes? Hey there, uh, this is Carol. I'm from the school. Uh, you, you brought in some cookies to our potluck back in January. Remember? Say it again. All right, we had we had a, we had a potluck in January, and you brought cookies to it. Do you remember bringing cookies to the potluck? No, it's for the the Christmas thing, the concert. Why am I going blank? Last year? Yeah, yeah, it was January eighth. 
But no, it was this year, though. It was January 8th of this year. At the school? Yeah. Man, your memory is really going. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't remember. Oh, it's okay. But yes, ma'am. Uh, I was just calling to let you know that I love you. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you love me back? Yes, I do. Aw, thanks. I appreciate that. You know, you know, I I don't love I just anyone. I I don't love just anyone, but I do love you. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. Mhm. Mm all right. Well, that's all I needed to to let you know. Uh, I can let you go now. I know you're probably busy. Thank you, dear. I appreciate you calling. Uh huh. Goodbye. I love you. Love you too. Bye bye. Bye. Wow, she loves me. I wonder if she still would have loved me if I had just had my normal voice. She probably wouldn't have loved me then. Gail's a damn sexist. Hello? Hello, Angie? Yes. Yeah. Hi there. This this is Carol. I'm from the school. Oh, hi. How are you? Pretty good. Hey, do you remember in January you brought us some cookies? Uh, no, I don't remember. For the potluck? I mean, I remember bringing, but I don't remember exactly the cookies. Oh. Why? <laughs> well, we, we got the results back from the lab because we were suspicious of your cookies. And they confirmed for us that you just bought Chips Ahoy from Walmart. Who is this? Uh, this is Carol. Okay. And, I mean, so like, uh, you just you shouldn't try and pass them off as homemade if you're just going to bring Chips Ahoy in. Okay. I never said that. Oh, sure. No, no, you... You, you have a great day, you, Carol. Talk to you later. You implied it. You implied that they were homemade. Oh, I didn't get to tell her that I loved her. And I also didn't get to tell her to tell that kid to shut the fuck up. Hello? Hello, Addie? Yes. Hey there, uh, this is Roy. I'm from the school. Oh, hi. How can I help you? Um, well, you brought in some cookies last, or I guess earlier this year, back in January, for the, the potluck. Uh, oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, those homemade cookies, right? Uh-huh. And we we were suspicious of that claim that they were homemade, so we had them tested. And we, the lab just got back to us with the results. And uh, we, we know that those were actually Chips Ahoy. Oh. Oh, wow. So you tried to pull one over on us, but we figured it out. We know that those were just Chips Ahoy you got from the Walmart or whatever. Wait, hold on. What happened? Uh, you, that you, I tried to buy? Hold on a sec. Hi, Cynthia. How are you? I'm back. <laughs> what? Hey. Okay. So Go ahead. I couldn't hear you. That uh, I did what? Uh, you you uh you just brought in a bunch of chips ahoy, but you put them on. You took them out of the package and tried to pass them off as your own homemade cookies. And okay, first of all, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Those... And I didn't bring any cookies to my school. Yeah, huh? Yeah, you you so tried to say they were homemade. You tried to say they were homemade, and they they, they were just chips ahoy. I'm sorry. I never baked any cookies. I know I you didn't. Them. You just you just brought in chips ahoy and and just acted like you did. Okay, who are you? What do you need? Uh, well, I'm just calling to let you know that we know. We know you did that. Hold on a second. Let me just buy this thing a second. All right. Okay, you can. Hello? Hello. Hello? Hello. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, I hear you just fine. Okay, so who are you? Where are you calling from? Uh, I'm calling from the school. My name is Roy. I'm what just, school? I'm calling from the school. I'm calling to let you know that we know you brought in Chips Ahoy. You didn't really bake those cookies yourself. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. The, the other mothers were very suspicious of your cookies. They're like, you know what? These look just like Chips Ahoy. I don't think she really made those. Okay, when did that happen? Back in January, the potluck, the Christmas potluck. Yeah, I didn't bring anything. I helped out, but I didn't have No, no. You brought cookies, and you're like, I made these no, myself. I and. No, you, I did not. You probably heated them up. Wanna have, no, if you want, no, if you want to have a meeting in school, but my kids are not in that school anymore. But if you want to have a meeting with the other parents and myself, we can do that. No, so no, it's fine. We don't. About. We don't need to do that. I'm just saying, you know, like to, don't try yeah, and pass off no, chips I, ahoy. I volunteer to help. I never said that I bought any cookies. Yeah, but I you know, didn't bring anything. I no. You implied I it because you warmed anything. them up. You warmed no, no, them up no, no, in no. the in the oven. 
how did I warm it up? What oven in school? I don't know. I'm probably just before you got okay, to the first school. Of all, I don't know what you would need. If you weren't looking for money, I'm just call somebody else in the bottom. Well, no, no, we're not looking for money. I'm just saying, like, you know. Just, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell her I loved her. Shit. All right, that was the end of that place. And then there's another one here, but it's at a completely different place. It's more like a church, but this one was open to the public. Where are you getting these lists from, Kristen? It's very confusing. Maybe I should just not use any more of these because I'm just going to waste them all telling them I love them. But at least this picnic was more recent because it was back in August of this year. Here, let me at least try a couple of them. Hello. Hi, Carolyn. Yes. Hey there. Uh, this is Roy. I'm I'm with the church. Um, yes. You you uh, you brought in an appetizer to uh to our potluck back in August. Uh, yes. Yep, and I'm calling to let you know that I love you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and yeah, that's all I really needed. I basically just wanted to say that I love you. All right. Well, thanks. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. Do you love me Take back? Care. Do you love me uh, back? Yeah, sure, sure. Oh, can you say it? No. Why not? <laughs> well, are you sure you actually love me back then? I don't know you. I know, but we we uh, we met briefly at the the potluck, very briefly. Mm-hmm. Um, uh-huh. You were talking to my wife, and uh, I was standing there next to her. We didn't actually talk oh, together. Okay. All right. Well, I get all these crank calls, so I'm never sure. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm not a crank call. This is Roy. I, I work for the church. Oh, okay. Well, good. So, yeah, I just, I, well, I love I'm you, in though. Arizona. I, yeah, I'm in Arizona right now, so we're kind of out of touch. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for the call. Okay, hey, I love you. Okay, bye. What, don't you love me back? Well, at least she remembered bringing something to the potluck. And I think I'm just going to save these numbers. This could be like a fun show thing to do sometime. Bunch of weird potluck shit. Thank you for this list, Kristen. I'm going to move on to the next thing. Here's a few numbers from Big Spike. And I've called some of these already. I can't remember if any of them picked up. I mean, some of them must have. Or maybe not. I don't know. Like, the list looks kind of full still. But anyway, he has a bunch of friends. These are just friends of his. And they're all friends that started out living in one place, but they now live, I guess, mostly in California. So I don't know why your friends all have random area codes all over the place. A lot of them are numbers on the eastern part of the country. And he says they all need California numbers. Now, he wants me to do the number changing pranks to him, but I think they should have a nice little I love you twist on them. So let's give some of these a try. Hello, Derica. Who is this? Uh, this is Kevin from T-Mobile. I'm calling to let you know we're changing your phone number to a California number today. No, we're, we're, no the hell you not, because I don't fucking know you. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not with T-Mobile. Oh, no, we, we own the number, though, because it was originally with T-Mobile. So we're going to be changing your number to a California number. My number and was not originally a T-Mobile number. I've always had AT&T. What are you talking about? It's the same company. You don't know how things work here. It's it's the same company, but we own the lines that AT and T uses. Do not change my number. Okay. My mom and I have this number. Do not change my number. I know, but we can tell from your GPS location that you you spend most of your time in California now. So we're gonna have to change that it. That doesn't matter. I don't want a California number. Leave my number alone. This yeah. is the number that I've had for over ten years. Do not touch my number. Well, you shouldn't have moved then. You shouldn't have moved across the country if you didn't Shut want to. Shut the it. hell up. I don't know who the fuck you talking to. Get the fuck off my phone. Ma'am, we're, we're going to. Well, shit. I was not able to tell her I love her. Let's try Your back. Your call has been forwarded to yeah, an. She's just hanging up. Your call has been forwarded to an. Yeah, she's just not going to pick up. I tried more than 10 times. She just keeps hitting the FU button. But thanks for that one, big spike. Sorry I didn't get to tell her that I loved her. And you know what? Fuck you, 411.com. It tells me that she is with T-Mobile, but I guess she's never been with T-Mobile, she claims. I get that occasionally. 411's usually pretty accurate, but I guess not always. You have reached the voicemail box of... And I guess that's the only number that's going to pick up on Big Spike's list. None of these other people will pick up, but I will come back to it eventually, Big Spike. Thanks for sending these in. He promised me that Derica would yell at me, and she sure did. It didn't take much to get her to start yelling at me. She needs somebody to love her. 
Here is a request from Jacob. He says there's this angry man that runs a telescope store here where I live. I think it would be the perfect location to prank. And here's the number. And he tells me the name of the telescope center, but he doesn't give me the man's name. So it's not like I can profess my love to him if I don't know his name. Damn it, Jacob. But that's okay. I'm going to call it anyway. We'll see what happens. Hello? Hello, who's this? Yes, Joe. Oh, hey, Joe. Um, what can I do? Th- this is Roy. I-, I was in there in the telescope center earlier. Yes. And I left my weed pipe in there. Mm, we don't see anything here. Yes, yeah, is my marijuana pipe. I was smoking mm. marijuana in there and I left it in there. Nothing here, my friend. Can you check in the bathrooms, maybe? Uh, yeah. Your bathroom? Are you kidding me? You didn't go to the bathroom. Sir. Oh, I I snuck into the bathroom. I know we're not supposed to, but I just kind of, I just kind of went in there when nobody was looking. I don't think you did. Oh, I definitely did. Why? Why do you say I didn't? Uh, because you must be high smoking something. I was. I was very high. I was smoking marijuana. That's why I'm saying you're high, you're high as hell. That's why I'm saying you, you didn't go to the washroom here, my friend. Oh, uh, I'm pretty and sure you I still d- are high. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm always high. I'm basically always high. Yeah. Well, y- you didn't go to the washroom here, buddy. Okay. Well, anyway, is my weed pipe just anywhere in it's there? It's not here. No. Are, are you Nowhere sure? Nowhere here. Absolutely sure. Did you even look? Yep. Not here, buddy. Okay. Hey, Joe? Yeah. I love you. Take care, buddy. Joe. Bye-bye. Joe. Joe. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Nobody loves me back unless I use the Carol voice. You women have it so easy. People just love you for no reason. This is bullshit. Yes. Joe, I love you. Buddy, 215-0185 is your number, right? Yes, it is, but I want you to know if you that... Call again, if, if you call again, we're going to call the police for harassment. Joe, don't so, you love so me? Fuck right off, buddy. Don't you love me? I was going to say that's probably not the angry guy, but I think that was the angry guy. He got pretty angry about that. Here's one from somebody who did not put a name in. They're anonymous. He wants me to prank a guy named Kevin at a toll-free number. He says this guy would be perfect to call. He gets super angry at anything. He's some kind of debt collector that keeps calling me for a debt that I don't even owe. He always gets super angry at me every time he calls. Anything would work on him honestly. Thanks. Well, I'm going to tell him I love him. Hello, may I help you? Hello, Kevin? Uh, No, this is Alan... Who am I speaking with? Oh, good. I was going to ask to speak to you, actually. Um, th- this is Roy. Who? Roy. Roy. Roy Gerbel. Where's Kevin at? Uh, he's left for the day. Okay. Well, um, hey, um, I wanted to let you know that I love you. I don't know you. Well... But, you know, I, I love you. Okay. All right. Thank you. But hey, hey, come on. Don't don't hang up. Can, can you tell me you love me back? Alan? Alan? Did you hang up, Alan? Aw. Well, don't worry, whoever submitted that. I will hold on to that one and call it back and try to talk to Kevin. Or here, let me try back one more time. Hello, may I help you? Alan, please tell me you love me back. Uh, well, well, who is this? Th- this is Roy Gerbel. I just, I really love you. Okay. And uh, well, I don't know who you are, okay? But you can, I'm uh, busy right you now. can still say you love me back, though, right? Oh, okay. You have a nice day. Do you Thank lo- you. Do you love me? You're making this weird. Well, shit. I'm going to title this show, Nobody Loves Me. But you know who does love me? You guys. You guys love me. And that's why I'm going to end the show right now. And I'm going to play some voicemails where everybody loves me. Hi, Roy. This is Charles from Tallahassee, Florida. Hey. I love your show, bro. But please, please do some more apartment complex buildings when you call them and act like you left like thousands of gallons of sand in the living room from a party you previously had. Bro, that shit was hysterically funny. Please do some more of that. I don't remember doing Biggest that. Biggest fan, Cactus Cactus. Thanks, Charles. I actually have a comment in here. I've pasted it in my notebook 
from Nico, and she says, please bring back the sand floors idea. It hasn't been done in like forever. Sand to protect the carpet from your cats pooping on it, sand down the toilet, and all that other fun shit. Maybe even a will it flush episode. And that's in my notes page because I really do want to do that. Thank you, Nico, for the idea. And thank you, Charles. I don't remember ever saying that I had thousands of gallons of sand from a party. Or did I say it was like a beach themed party? I guess I can see that happening. But yeah, in fact, I'm going to write that down next to Nico's idea. And in my request folder, they um, somebody gave me an apartment number to call, but it was mainly just so they could pitch an idea to me. And I tried to call the apartment today and they wouldn't pick up because I was going to tell him I loved him too. But he wanted me to say that I was sandblasting a bunch of really thick grout off of my tub. Whoever that was, I can't remember. But yeah, I want to do that too. That sounds kind of like fun. I could tell him I just put the machine hose in the middle of the living room because there's so much sand in there to use for the sand blasting. So yeah, we need to do sand calls soon. Lots of sand calls. I agree. Hey, Brad. It's Sabo Barner. Hey. And I just wanted to call to say thank you. Uh, last week, I became homeless. Oh, and no. um, ever since then, nonstop, pretty much 24-7, I've been listening to this No Plow show. And that means being homeless is no big deal. Yeah. I don't care that I'm homeless. I listen to you while so I can you're handle, freezing. while I try to sleep on park benches, and all the other shit that homeless people do. Constantly listening, and it makes being homeless not so bad at all. I don't sleep on park benches. So, I appreciate you. That's I appreciate dumb. the 2015 archive that sleep I'm in a tree. to in reverse, because I have not heard those shows since 2015. And I don't remember them, so it's like it's brand new to me. It's amazing. Yeah. So thank you for existing and thank you. For I can listen to stuff from like six months ago and I don't remember one bit of it. So it's like it's new to me when I listen. Such a funny content creator. Love you, Brad. Bye-bye. Thanks, Battle Boner. I love you too. I love everybody. I love Charles from before. But what the hell, Battle Boner? How'd you become homeless? And are you really sleeping on park benches? I mean, come on, there's better options than that. Or if you're going to sleep on park benches, you should at least like move down to the south that's what I did when I was homeless. I moved down to Texas and slept on the beaches or just break into somebody's house and sleep inside their house. You know, just sleep on their couch. They'll come down in the morning and you'll be there. And they'll probably think you look so peaceful there. They'll just make you breakfast. They won't even say anything. They'll be fine with it. No, don't do that. I'm kidding. Hi, don't. Brad. It's Cavetta. Hey. Or you can call me Cam. I don't know. I'm going to call you Steve. I just want to say a happy birthday to me on the November 18th day. Thing. Uh, yeah. Oh, yay. Mm. Happy late but birthday. Hi. I just want to say hi. Uh, thank you. Thank you for doing what you're doing. Bye. Sure. I hope your birthday was great, and I think you should know that I love you. Uh, you just sent me a thing on the comment uh, with your phone number, Tom. Something about Ken. What? Important. It's about his sister. What? Uh, Okay. Can call back? Yeah, I think or that might be a. On me again. That might be a wrong number. That's from Sunday night. I don't know if anyone was doing a show Sunday night. Was someone messing with me? Hi, Cut Brad, it out. It's Ryan Digital. I'm calling from a payphone at the Hilltop Park in Signal Hill, California. Hey. I was like, Google payphone, it works. Fuck yeah. So here's a, here's a story. When I first started. Listening- <laughs> Whoa. I don't know what happened there, but his line just kind of went dead. I think you have to put another dime in the phone or something. Hey, this is Jeff B. I've been compiling a list of security cameras from mainly businesses that just uh, set them up incorrectly. Yeah, dummies. And they're online for anybody to see. For example, I have this Arby's with 15 cameras. And I was thinking that might be fun to kind of play around with. I have their number as well. Yeah, get them to ring the bell. I wonder if you were at, although I'm not a lawyer and it's kind of sketchy. And, uh, yeah. All right. Bye. Yeah, your voice was cutting out there a little bit, but I think you were asking me if I want them, and the answer is no, I do not want them. Because I think technically, even though they're idiots and they left the default passwords on there and everything, that could still be considered hacking. It's probably illegal. Normally, I wouldn't care too much, but I'm kind of a felon on probation for hacking right now, so I shouldn't be messing around with cameras. But maybe Dwight will. Maybe Dwight or Carlito should give it to them. I want to see somebody make a Arby's bell ring, but while they're watching the camera. You should send it to Wasted Memory. He'll do it. Wastedmemory.com or is it wastedshow.com? I can't remember. Send it to anybody that's not me. Hey, Brad. My name is Tommy. I'm from Illinois. Hey, Tommy. And I love you, Tommy. 
I just want you to know that. I love you. Dude, I love the show. Oh, uh, I, I love you. And I just, I just listened to the, I forgot what episode it was, but it was really, really funny. One of my favorite episodes ever is when yeah, you went on to a random person's conference call and just messed with it. It's like, penis, penis. It was so fun, dude. <laughs> just do that again. I don't think I was I, saying I penis. I don't, have any, I don't have any numbers right now. It doesn't sound like me. Keep on doing what you're doing, man. And... Yeah, Thanks. Cat, cat. I will. And I love you. Did I mention that before? That I love you? What conference did I go on? Are you talking about the Blockbuster Video Conference? That was probably it, because I know I got the conference number on a live show, so all of the listeners had access to it, and I told them all to keep it down for a minute, but they probably got on there anyway and started screaming things about penises, so... Hey, Brad. It's Earl Sinclair is dead from Connecticut. Hey, Earl I'm Sinclair calling is because, dead. I'm calling because... Drumroll. No. I don't have I've a been your drum. fan for 10 years. Oh, holy now. shit. Uh, it was Black Friday, e bombs <laughs> World, 10 years ago. Whoa. Where you wrecked shop. Yeah, I and sure did. you kicked ass, and it's fun to be your fan, and keep up the good work. Thanks, Earl love Sinclair. Hey, I love you too. I was just telling somebody about the whole Black Friday Walmart thing where I'm just walking around Walmart picking up phones and stuff. And before I did the Black Friday thing, I did it several other times just trying it out. And I remember I did it in August and it was a really hot day. It was over 100 degrees, which is crazy for Oregon. And I spent all day going to like five or six different Walmarts in the area and answering their phones and recording it all with my digital recorder. And I got the most amazing material ever. I remember this one call in particular, this guy was calling about a swimming pool because it was 100 degrees out and he just wanted to get a big 12 foot swimming pool for his family and I called him a pussy. I'm like, come on, it's just a little bit of heat. Don't be such a pussy. And he lost his shit at me. It was so amazing. And guess what, everyone? I had the microphone plugged into the headphone jack. So everything I did that day did not get recorded. I spent hours recording those calls. I don't know why I'm telling you this, just because it sort of relates to the Black Friday thing. And there was a whole other show of those calls that never got released because they weren't recorded. You could sort of hear my voice in the calls saying the hilarious things to the customers, but nothing on the phone got recorded because I'm an idiot and I plugged the microphone into the wrong jack. It was a new digital recorder. I, I didn't know how to use it yet. That's my excuse. But you know what? In 2023, when I'm not on probation anymore, I think another Black Friday show needs to happen at a Walmart because they still do stuff the same way. Their phone systems are still the same. So it'd be crazy not to. Hey, Brad, this is uh, Dumpster Love again. I was just going to say, you know, I wish you would do more, uh, like, Asian food restaurant uh, prank calls because they seem to take everything a lot more seriously. I think that it's because they have... Probably because they think they're about hate crimes when we prank them. English, the language, like, makes them feel like like outwitted no matter what anyways i think they 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 always take things more seriously there's a lot of a lot more pranks that you can you can pull on that anyways yeah maybe uh yeah that'd be cool awesome awesome see you soon just, you can't understand them though i mean nothing against asian people but it's just gonna be me saying silly things to them and they have no idea what I'm talking about, and I can barely understand their responses. There's a language barrier. That's my problem with prank calls to foreign people. You know, that's why I won't call people in Australia and the UK, because they're not very good with English. But maybe I should do that. Maybe I should make a whole show of that anyway. You know, just once or twice. Call a bunch of Asian people. Basically target a race. Nothing wrong with that, right? By the way, Dumpster Love, I love you, okay? I think you should know that. I love you. Hey, Roy, it's uh, Butthole Winker 34. How you hey, doing? Pretty good. Hey, uh, I just got to say, you've been hitting home runs lately with these shows. Uh, all your shows are so freaking hilarious. And, uh, Thanks. I just love it when you when you, when you interrupt uh, your caller and you go, you're you like, oh, no, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Yeah, I and love then you, that. And then when they make a pause, they, like, continue, like, you continue on with your spiel and then they like totally hang up every time i just think that's hilarious yeah. um please tell please kate tell them to shut up 
please tell please keep telling women what? that their job is in the kitchen oh, and yeah. that okay. uh, men are talking I like it when you do that one too yeah um, also I should point out that I most likely stole the whole womanizing thing from Carlito on madhouselive.com but how can I not do that it's hilarious quickly um, kudos and shout out to reefer badness for the go cup song I downloaded yeah. the mp3 and I jam out to that song all the time especially when i'm uh driving to work getting pumped psyched up for work and also when i'm masturbating anyway uh bye you masturbate on the way to work that doesn't sound safe unless you take a bus or something but anyway i love you thanks for calling in roy lion 227 calling from pennsylvania yo i'm gonna keep it quick i have two questions about the, fuck up. the first one goes like this you always play it in the background it goes like some shit like that sounds like Sonic. The next one goes, um, it goes. Dude, I just need to know the song, the names of them. Please, dude, please, please, please. All right, cactus. I think maybe both of those you're talking about, and I could be wrong, but I think those both might be by a band called Trash 80. Like, here, tell me if this sounds familiar. Is that it? That's called Haunted Candies by Trash 80. I probably am playing the wrong thing. And that one's called Cascadia by Trash 80. I don't think that's the one you're looking for, though. It goes... Damn it, what is that, everyone? That's not the stuff I just played, is it? It goes... God damn it, now I just want to play a ton of all of my background loops and figure out which song you're talking about. Because I think that one that you just did is, um, I just have these two mp3 files called chip tunes hour one and hour two which i put together myself from a bunch of chip tunes i have and i kind of think that one's in there somewhere Is this it? Is this the one? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe somebody in the comments will know which song you're talking about. I'm probably of very little help. But, you know, usually I put the names of the background music songs in the show notes. So if you're ever wondering which song is playing in a show, just look in the show notes on snowplowshow.com or on YouTube, and it should be in there. But on this show, when you listen to this, you should go listen to, I mean, you should go read the comments, probably on YouTube, maybe on snowplowshow.com, and maybe somebody will have the answer for you about which song that is. Hi, Brad. This is Copper Plants here. Yeah, and I'm going to be on vacation for a week. And I was wondering if you could be on Facebook and water my Farmville crop. Of course I Thanks. can. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, sure. No problem. Just send me your login and password. What could go wrong there, right? By the way, I love you. I love all of you. That's going to be the very last voicemail. So it looks like we're nearing the end of the show. But, you know, we learned a lot of good things today. We learned that love is a beautiful thing. And what did that other guy say? That you shouldn't make fun of love. And I wasn't making fun of love. I don't know where he got that idea from. And we learned that just because you love somebody doesn't mean they're going to love you back. I understand that now. If you people in the voicemail don't love me back... I get it. It's fine. I don't expect you to love me back, but I love all of you. And then, of course, we learned that I couldn't have used the bathroom at that observatory because I was high as fuck. Man, I want to call that guy back. I should have saved his number. But no, that's why I don't save numbers, so I'm not harassing people forever just because they're hilarious. Thank you, Don Marola, for the idea today of calling up people and declaring my love for them. That was a lot of fun. I had a good time. By the way, Don Marola, I love you. I hope it's not weird to say that, but it's true. I do love you. Thank you to the sponsors of today's show, like FOD87, who I happen to love, and Gobi, who I also love, and The Least Creative. I kind of love The Least Creative, 
but slightly less than FOD87 and Gobi, just because I know them better. You know, I've known them longer. They've been supporting the show for a longer time. Basically, what I'm saying is my love for you depends on your support of the show. I'm going by dollar amounts. Sorry, Least Creative, you'll get there. And uh, also Jamie F, who I love, and Todd L, who I also love. I love both of them equally, but I'm not going to say where they are on the scale compared to FOD87 and Gobi or the Least Creative. But thank you, everybody, for supporting the show. And if you would like to support the show, I would love you forever. You can support the show by going to patreon.com slash phone losers. Holy shit, I love Patreon. But if you don't love Patreon, I understand. And you should instead go to phonelosers.com slash support. There's a couple of different options there, like New Project 2 or just the website itself. If you want to deal with my shitty website. We're going to end today's show with a song by two people who I love a lot. And I was reminded of this song by somebody else that I also happen to love, Rappy McRapperson, in his interview with MC Lars. He mentioned the music video for the song 1984 by MC Lars and Megaran and how awesome it was. So I went to YouTube and I watched the video. I'd never seen it before. It's pretty amazing. I love it. And that's what we're going to hear right now. This is 1984 by MC Lars and Megaran. I love you both. Oceana, they rewrite the past, they erase the fact. Oh, you're a sick bastard, Dave. Have a good day. I love you.